Hello, it's Tanil, your cloth nappy doctor. I'm back again today. Um, we've been inundated with uh, questions, comments, queries, emails, Facebook Messenger, you name it. Um, I don't know why, but everybody's asking about getting started with cloth nappies. And uh, a lot of the orders coming through are obviously people getting started. So. Uh, to help Trudy out and to um, help you, I'm going to do a condensed getting started with cloth nappies. I'm going to go through the styles, uh, the materials, washing, the poo, how many you need, really short, really sweet. So if you know someone who is just going, you know, whatever stage you're along, share the video. Let them know. Um, if you're just starting, listen in. So, uh... I want to, so let's go. I'm just going to start now during, yeah, welcome to um, answer questions. I'll probably do it at the end um, for you, but I thought I'd get this out there so you're in control. So um, one of the things that my heart goes out to all the new parents is, just, I don't know where to start. And you go to do that Google search and um, the fear, <laughs> the overwhelm, um, we hear it, we can see it, and um, my heart goes out to you. So here we go. This is to empower you to make the decision that works for you and to get the cloth nappy so you don't have to go around and ask questions and make it harder and make the process more drawn out than it needs to be. Okay, so uh, firstly, the uh, primary goal of a cloth nappy is to catch wee and poo. That's it. Okay, so all the pretty prints, all the new fangangle prints and designs and all of that is just to make it more fun, more exciting. Okay, but the what you need to keep in mind is the primary goal of this thing is to catch wee and poo. That's it. That's all it's meant to do. And to be comfortable on your child. Now. In how to start your thinking so we put it into Google we get you know all the um, eBay stuff coming up and we go well they're eight bucks and and these are 30 bucks what's the difference why would I I don't understand okay so I'm going to attack that one first all right in a nappy because it's got a catch and poo, you need absorbency. That's what you're paying for in the more expensive nappies. In your cheap nappies, um, and I saw on a group just the other day, a lady explained this is the inserts are only good for cleaning. This is generally the insert you get for eight bucks. That is why it's eight bucks. That's what you get. Generally, depending on the brand, the factory, the whatever, you generally get that. That's going to last a newborn for the first maybe couple of weeks. Plus it's microfiber. There's two layers to that and it's really thin. I can hold it up and I can see through it. Okay. So you're looking at your materials. So in saying that, I'm going to put it to you that to start your cloth nappy research, don't start with a budget. I know it's going to make you... Don't start with budget. I want you to start with finding your style first. Find the style of cloth nappy that you like and then there are ways to make it more economical. Okay, because we have lots of parents who buy a brand or buy a style of nappy and they buy a big pack, 24 to 36, they put the purchase through and then go, oh, I saw really what I wanted but I was all so overwhelmed. That's okay. And we've had people go from buying an all in two to buying a fitted nappy. So, as I go through these different styles, if you're just new to this, even if you've got a stash of all all in ones, and you think, I need a bit of a change it up, just listen. And what you want to do is think about what do I like the look of? Each style of cloth nappy has bon benefits. I don't like saying negatives because they're not a negative, but there's things that make it good for you. So it's like choosing a bra or an undie, pair of undies. Okay, some people like the lace, some people like the grandma undies, some people like G-strings. 
Belkinet bras, sports bras, you name it. You're not wearing the same bra or undies as your mother or your girlfriend next door. Your husband's not, well, your husband's maybe because they don't have as wide as us. But anyway, okay. So it's about what's easy for you because you're going to be changing these things. It's about what's going to fit your bubby and what's going to work. So we'll go through the styles. And as I talk, just quickly jot down, oh, I love that. I like the thought of that. No, I don't like them. I don't want them. No, I don't want to do that. No, 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 no. All right. So the f I'll also chatter about newborn, but I'll concentrate on the one size nappies because they're the most popular and most economical. Right. So you can get flats. We all know flats. This is a bird's eye flat. Then um, you've got our Simply Cloth Bamboo ones are sold out at the moment. They are in production. Flats are versatile. They allow you to customize your absorbency to however you want it. You can do the folds however you want to do them. There are heaps of folds. They're all on the Cloth Nappy Doctor blog. They're all on the Apicali. You'll be able to find them. Okay, that's a flat. You customize your absorbency. The level of customization in a flat is fabulous. You can add boosting, take boosting, and fold it however you want. That's the joy of the flat system. What Think about is do I want to do that folding? That's up to you. They require a cover. Now, covers can be one size. They can be sized. You can use what you might already have in your stash. Right. Depending on what your flat is, these ones, particularly the bird's eye ones, can become boosters after the newborn stage. So I'll just pop in a little bit of newborn for those thinking. They can become boosters in the newborn stage. So if you have one size nappies from newborn, you've got to remember at newborn stage, you're going to be changing 10 to 12 times a day. doesn't matter whether you're using single-use nappies or disposables. Uh, cloth nappies. Um, so they're going to be in very high rotation, so you need a few. But I'll come to that. Okay, so flats. There's a flat nappy. Next up is your pre-folds. Pre-folds, I'll do the one size one. Pre-folds means there's generally three panels and down the middle is more absorbency. There's just a little bit more sewing in these. They're usually two to five, six dollars each, but they're full of absorbencies. These are the Bummies Organic Cotton. They've been washed, most pre-folds will shrink a little bit. The organic cottons become nice and waffly. These you can use snappies or pins with or nothing. For flats and pre-folds, you don't have to use snappies and pins. You can fold them into what they call the pad fold and lay it in a cover. So if you don't want to be doing all that pinning, that's fine. Just have a really good cover. So pre-folds, you can fold them different ways. And you'll see when we get to the all-in-twos, it's very much like an all-in-two system. So you just have your cover, you lay it in the cover, and you switch these out as they're wet or soiled, and use two covers during the day. So these are your most economical options, and I reckon they end up being cheaper than your really cheap options on eBay or wherever else. Okay. Okay. And more absorbency in them too. You can already see there's more absorbency. Next step up from there is where you start getting to what they call the modern cloth nappies. So it's been sewn and contoured and there's elastic. So next step up from these, these, these both pre-folds and flats require a cover. So do your fitted cloth nappies. Okay, so we've moved up on from the ones that give you great customization of your absorbency to something that is now contoured. It is sewn. Now, this is the Baby Behinds fitted. It's one size. Get a couple of boosters. We've got some videos on how to use it from newborn. So you can use this from newborn with more boosters. You get more boosting. There's heaps of boosting in this. Okay? You do need a cover. You do need a cover. Alrighty. So, here we go. Flats, pre-folds, fitted. So start thinking, do I like this two-step system? The insert and the cover. Do I like this? Do I not like it? Is this an option? Okay. Usually need for this two to four of these per cover. And you usually have six to eight covers from the newborn stage, six to eight covers and about 24 
changes inserts. Alrighty. Moving up from there. Hi, Krista. Alrighty. So, moving up from there, pocket nappies. You've all seen the pocket nappies. I love demonstrating this one because it's really, really it's the best explanation. It's a pocket. Your inserts go in the pocket. Now, the beauty of these is you put it on bub. It's one system. You've got to stuff a pocket. These are the Apple Cheeks one size for those interested. That goes in. There's your pocket. There's usually a stay dry layer. Okay, your PUL. So your absorbency is in this modern cloth nappy. Okay, do you like the thought of stuffing pockets? Doesn't bother you. You can sometimes lay the um, insert on top. Do not lay microfiber on top. Do not put that against baby skin. Do not do it. You'll get rashes, all sorts of problems. This is very good absorbing. Okay, pockets. Next one is the height of convenience. This is if you're starting cloth nappies and you're like, oh, I want to do the folding and the snapping. And, uh, all right. So maybe you know a friend is like, uh, okay, all in ones. Okay, so this is the Bummies Pure. It's an all in one. All in one means the absorbency is attached to the shell. There's no stuffing, there's no snapping, there's no nothing. Okay, so the absorbency is all attached. This whole thing goes in the wash. You just lay it back in and off you go. Now, the, there is a little bit of a myth going around that all in ones take forever to dry. Because they've updated the design to have these tongues or flaps or whatever you want to call them, the absorbency is being separated, so it's not all sewn into the shell. This would actually take a little bit longer to dry your fitted compared to this one. Okay, so that's an all-in-one. I think that's pretty obvious. Everything's attached. Easy. Okay. The last one, which is really popular, is your all-in-two. See, if you remember back to the pre-fold and cover, okay, you had your pre-fold, which you may be folded in three or four, and you put it in a cover. That's all you did. Look, that's all you did. Laid it in and put the on your feet. All in two, look at this, it's a bit similar. The inserts snap into your cover, generally snap or Velcro. That's an all in two. The inserts are usually more contoured compared to your pre-fold. So there's no folding for you. You just snap them in off you go. So if you're looking for a little bit more convenience compared to the pre-fold and cover option, you go the um, all in two. So as you move up from the flats up to the all in ones and the all in twos, you're moving from your ability to really customize your absorbency, fold it however you want, Okay, but there's a little bit more work involved just with the folding or snapping to convenience with your all-in-ones and your all-in-twos. That's where you're moving on. So if you look to so think about at this stage, what style do I like? Which of those do I really like? Which of those would be really fantastic for me, for Bub, would get me the most um, joy? Because that's what you're doing. You're going to be doing this constantly you're going to be doing it in the middle of the night so think about what would be easiest for me all right your next question okay so we haven't even talked about budget yet the next one you want to think about is material do i care about what material it is we're just getting started here um, do i like the thought of organic cotton do i prefer the thought of bamboo do i like the thought of hemp and cotton do i like hemp do i am i not fussed okay so think Think about that. And then I really, really, really believe you will find a cloth nappy in the material and style that you want. There are hundreds of brands. So instead of going on and looking and going, oh my God, all these brands. You want an all-in-one inorganic cotton. Done in the older version. I want a all-in-one in bamboo. Done. I want an all-in-two in cotton. And I'm thinking, there is one. I want one in bamboo. Most of bamboo. Bamboo is really popular just because it's really absorbent. 
Alrighty. That's it. Then you can look at budget. Then you can look at your budget. Now, if you find that, okay, look, I can't quite afford all all in ones, because they're going to be your most expensive generally. Okay, can I mix it up with maybe using pre-folds and covers at home and using these for out and about? Okay, and they're still going to fit within your budget for getting started. Okay, all in twos, buy extra inserts. Generally, the shell will dry a whole lot faster than these. So usually two lots of inserts to one shell. Okay, you're going to be ready to go. When you get started, what you're looking for is the number of nappy changes. So let's get to how many nappies you actually need. Now, when you come to your full-time packs and your part-time packs and all of those, it can be a bit overwhelming when they go 24 nappies. Okay, 24 of these at 30 bucks can be quite overwhelming in the beginning. Absolutely. So what you're looking for is 24 changes. 24 changes. That means 24 lots of absorbency. Okay, so you could choose, you could choose 24 for a newborn, all in once. Um, and it's not here. All in once. Or you can say, you know what, the newborn stage, no, it's a bit expensive. And for a couple hundred bucks, you can do pre folds and a newborn cover. Okay, that's a couple hundred bucks compared to. A whole lot more okay or in your all-in-ones or your all-in-twos looking for your changes now with the little tip with your baby behinds you get an extra two inserts with this all-in-one uh, one size nappy there's two changes so with this nappy there's three changes so you don't need as many at the newborn stage Okay, then once you start putting these into here, you're going to need more of these. So there's a way to get started with less cost. You can also look at all in two newborns. You can always look at that. Buy more inserts. Again, buy more inserts because this will dry a whole lot quicker to these. Okay, so how many nappies do you need? If you're going to wash every day for a newborn, you'll need about 24. Okay, these are average children. As your child gets older, um, to work out how many you need, how many times are you changing them in the day? Let's say it's six times it by two, that's 12. That's washing every day. If you want to wash every second day, add another day's load of changes on. Does that make sense? So you've got one lot in the wash, and you've got the lot that you're using during the day. So for a newborn, if you're going to wash every second day, look at 36 changes, okay? And the 36 changes could be 36 brief folds. If you want to wash less often. That's how many you need. So there's lots of recommendations on what age, how many you need for each age of baby. Cloth nappies of quality well, should last as long as they're disposable for your little one. Okay. Already washing... Uh, how many? We've done that. I hope that makes sense. So, washing cloth nappies. This is a huge topic. Um, we go by the principle of keeping it simple uh, because then we see less issues. So, the general recommendation at the moment is a pre-wash, a pre-rinse of your nappies. Uh, we recommend washing at least every second day. That helps um, keep the wee, your poo smell in check. It helps make sure your fibres don't break down due to wee and poo and keeps your body, um, nappies longevity as well. So washing every one to two days is good. If you're going to wash longer, have a chat. Make sure it works with your brand because you don't want to destroy your warranties. So washing. A pre-rinse. Give your nappies a pre-rinse with some nice clean water to dilute that wee. Then wash them on a good full wash. You want to make sure that the machine is not overstuffed. Don't overstuff your machine. If you're trying to shove in a pair of jeans and a blanket and another six nappies, your nappies can't get agitation. So to clean your nappies, you need a good detergent, you need agitation, and you need water. Those three things. You get that, you're fine. So ensure that you have agitation, 
about 800 RPM, depends on your machine. Make sure you've got enough water, make sure it's a full load is more economical um, and efficient. So have a full load, but don't overstuff your machine. Just place the items in, don't push it down. And a good detergent. Um, different brands suggest different detergents. Have a chat to your brand. Otherwise, stay away from bleaches and fabric softeners. That's it. Okay. Uh, washing poo. Poo. If you're just new to this, I promise you, you'll be over poo within the first couple of weeks. There are ways to make cleanup easier. There are disposable liners, single-use liners. Um, don't put these down the toilet. I don't recommend doing that, especially now with government starting to find people and find businesses. <laughs> okay, um, get the poo off and put it in the bin. Um, you can also get fleece liners, which are reusable, and we actually find the poo slides off a whole lot easier on these. Or don't use liners. Um, grab a little nappy squirt or a little tap, a little hose that attaches to your laundry sink and squirt it off. Alrighty. That is getting started. That That is the first things you need to know. Don't be scared of the washing. You're going to have washing anyway with your bub. Uh, poo, you'll come to do it. How many nappies you need. Your newborn, you always need more nappies than you think you do for a newborn because... Who knows, when bub comes out, it's all new. And to make life easier for you, it's always better to have more changes, okay? More absorbency. So depending on what you want, so it could be a number of nappies, it could be the pre-fold and covers, it could be flats and covers. All right. And before you, when you start the process, put budget at the back. That's your last consideration. Okay? And then... You can make an informed decision about materials, about styles, about um, absorbency, and you can do that research. Then once you've got that, and also it, it, it will fit in with your ethics and your morals, and what do you want, what, what would work in your lifestyle, and do you have any allergies? Do you have allergy to bamboo? Do you have allergy to polyester? Could Bob have an allergy to these things? You can start thinking about that. All right. That's to get started. And if you start there and you, you, you after listening to this, have gone, I love pre-folds and all in twos. Awesome. Because you can now use your pre-folds, where'd you go, honey, in your all in two covers. Look at that. So there's lots of ways to save money. There's lots of ways to get a really great product and save money. All right. Now, where to from here? This was just a, a quick get on and help Trudy out and help you guys out. And hopefully it gives everyone a really great starting point. Um, if you know your styles, grab a trial pack from one of the brands or one of the stores that mix brands. We have a couple of trial packs that I can with. Grab a trial pack. Give it a go. Um, if you're just starting out, we have the newborn library. So you get a range of brands and oh so cute newborn nappies. You'll forget that you gave birth and you'll just go for another one. They're so cute. Um, and if you want more information and more in-depth information, we have the Cloth Nappy Dr. E course, which is how to choose your perfect cloth nappy. The link is up above. <laughs> um, you can go do that. Um, it's a very gentle me nattering away in more detail about these things. That's it. That is cloth nappies in 24 minutes. Look at that. Cup of tea. Alrighty. If you got any questions, pop them up and I'll come to them during the day. And I hope that was helpful. Happy cloth napping, everyone. Happy Thursday. <laughs>